Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also give names to 3D ranges. As we learned in the previous chapter, a 3D range is one cell range that spans through multiple worksheets. As long as the cell range reference is the same for all of the different worksheets in the group that you select, you can give it a name. Then it too can be used in your formulas in place of the typical 3D cell range references. To do this, click the Define Name button that appears in the Define Names group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. That will open the New Name dialog box. In the Name text box, enter the name that you want to give to your 3D range. Now remember, there are no spaces allowed in range names. Also ensure that the scope drop-down is set to workbook. Next, in the refers to text box, click the collapse dialog button at the right end of the text box. Click on the first sheet name of the first sheet in the 3D cell range. Hold down shift on your keyboard and then click the sheet name tab of the last worksheet that you want to include in the 3D cell range. Once the worksheet group has been selected, you next click and drag over the cells in the worksheet that you want to use as the cell reference for the 3D range. Next, click the Expand Dialog Box button at the right end of the Refers to Text box again to expand the dialog box. In the New Name dialog box, click the OK button when you're finished to create the 3D named range. Now note that you will not be able to select this range from the Name box. Remember that when you select a range name from the Name box, it highlights the cells in the selected range. It would be impossible to show all of the cells from the multiple sheets in a single window, so you cannot access it through the Name box. You may, however, use it as a substitute for 3D range references in your 3D formulas. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.